Hi everyone, Alison Davis here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. If you are a first time viewer, please consider subscribing. I post videos every week and they're all gonna hopefully help you lower your scores and improve your golf. Today's lesson is all about how we can stop fatting shots, how we can stop hitting the ground before the ball. Ultimately, this will help you get more ball turf contact, so more ball in divot or divot after the ball. All these kind of buzzwords are all around the same area for you. What I'm gonna look at is your side bends in your body and how you can do some nice practice swings and feels on the practice ground, and maybe even a nice swing thought for the golf course you could use to help stop you hitting the ground before the ball. So as described in the introduction, what we're really looking for here is how we can get that golf club landing target side of the golf ball consistently. And how we can have a swing thought that'll help you do that on the golf course, but also how we can have an understanding of what your body's doing to hit the ground before the ball. So quite often what happens is in the downswing, our right side will bend too much, side bend too much this way, which means we hit the ground before the ball. So we get this right lateral bend, basically. And we don't transfer our pressure or energy to the lead side, and we get the club bottoming out too early. Now that can be caused by many different things. Physical stuff, it can be caused by the plane you're swinging at, and then a reaction to that. And it can be caused by conceptually trying to lift the ball in the air and get height and shots. And sometimes the environment can cause it too. So if the lie's particularly bad, you might be trying to get the ball up in the air from a bad lie. What I'd like you to feel you do is also from the top of the swing, feel like your left shoulder goes lower and more forward. So effectively it creates more left side bend. Now obviously if we do this too much, we're gonna end up too far ahead of the golf ball. But this, essentially the more we go ahead of the golf ball, the more the club's gonna land after the ball and therefore help stop the hitting the ground before the ball concept that we're talking about today. So the practice swings I'd want you to do would be to the top of the swing, Left shoulder, what you'd feel is low and on top of your left ankle. And try and get the club to hit the ground way after the golf ball. Now again, this concept is really for only people that would hit the ground before the ball, or possibly people who have a hook shot. This will help both those people. Now, that would be the practice swing field. Now when we go to the shot, I want you to find, feel like you're gonna stand there pretty much as normal, but maybe feel we just get this left shoulder going low and forward. That might be the swing concept for the course. Shoulder low and forward, that pressure. I'm trying to feel almost this gap here stays constant, or if anything, narrows, okay? So the hip to the shoulder kind of stays more constant. Now in an ideal world, it will separate a tiny bit. This left shoulder will work up, back and around. But this is for the guys that are hitting the ground before the ball. Again, sometimes we have to give you too much, what I would call medicine to make a change to get you moving in a better place to therefore go more naturally afterwards. Let's try go with that, trying to feel my left shoulder works down nice and early towards my left ankle in the downswing, try and squash that gap. The rehearsal. Definitely felt that happen more much more of a punch type feel. Nice bit of turf after the ball. It was a nice pressured strike. I pulled it a wee bit, but I was really happy with the strike. The downside in this is that if I do this too much, there is an opportunity I will come over the top, swing from outside. Again, for the guy in the hookers of this world, it's a great feel. For the guys who just hit the ground before the ball, it's a great feel. So just be aware, the T's and C's you feel like on this drill is if you start pulling shots, you possibly are doing this too much and you're not getting the plane shallowed at the same time. If you look at someone like Alex Noren, he gets this move with his upper body, but he gets the club still working in a shallowing fashion and the club head behind his hands. So he's able then to deliver the club at the right angle with the body shape and the body bends correct to get the right pressure and strike on the golf ball. So have a go at this. Now join the conversation, gents and ladies, chat down below, post any comments, post any questions, also requests for videos. Also feel free to send me your golf swing to my email. I'd love to have a look at your golf swings, how you move, possibly even feature them on the channel. 
Also, if you have enjoyed the video, please click like and please share the video. I really appreciate if you could do that for me. It really helps me, really helps my channel grow, it gets my channel out there to people that haven't discovered it yet. Also, if you can, please subscribe, hit my logo down the bottom corner here, join me on my journey, just lower your scores and improve your golf. Lastly, thanks for tuning in and see you again here soon.